TV. Today we celebrate Saint Mechthild. Mechthild is not a very popular name, but she was a Benedictine born in 1240 at the ancestral castle of Saxony. She belonged to one of the noblest and most powerful Thuringian families, while her sister was the saintly and illustrious abbess known as Gertrude von Hackeborn. Some writers have considered that Mechthild von Hackeborn and Mechthild von Wipra were two distinct persons, but as the barons of Hackeborn, they were also lords of Wipra. It was customary for members of that family to take their name indifferently from either or both of these estates. Mechthild was so fragile at birth that the attendants feared she might die unbaptized and so they had to hurry her up to a priest who was just preparing to say mass and he had her baptized. While doing so, he uttered these prophetic words, What do you fear? This child most certainly will not die but she will become a saintly religious in whom God will work many wonders and she will end her days in a good old age. When she was seven years old, having been taken by her mother on a visit to her elder sister Gertrude, then a nun in the monastery of Rodasdorf, she became so enamored of the cloister that her parents' parents yielded to her entreaties and acknowledging the workings of grace, they allowed her to enter the alumnate. While she was in the alumnate, she was highly gifted in mind as well as in body. So she was able to make remarkable progress in virtue and learning. Ten years later, she followed her sister, who was now the abbess, and had transferred the monastery to an estate at Hefter given her by her brothers, Louis and Albert. As a nun, Mechthild was so distinguished for her humility, her favor, and that extreme amiability which had characterized her from her childhood and which, like piety, seemed hereditary in her race. While still very young, she became a valuable helpmate to Abbess Gertrude, who entrusted to her the direction of the alumnate and the choir. A reflection on the life of Mechthild will continue after this hymn.
Whitetail, whom we celebrate this day, was fully equipped for her task when eventually in the year 1261 God committed to her prudent care a child of five years who was destined to shed luster upon the monastery of Helfter. This was that Gertrude who in later generations became known as Saint Gertrude the Great. Gifted with a beautiful voice, Mechtilde also possessed a special talent for rendering the solemn and sacred music over which she presided as Domna Cantrates. All her life she held this office and trained with indefatigable zeal other choristers. Indeed, divine praise was the keynote of her life, as it was of her book. She was never tired, despite her continual and severe physical sufferings, so that in his revelations, Christ was wont to call her his nightingale, richly endowed, naturally and supernaturally ever gracious, beloved of all who came within the radius of her saintly and charming personality. There's little wonder therefore that this cloistered virgin should strive to keep hidden her wondrous life. Souls thirsting for consolation or groping for light sought her advice. Learned Dominicans consulted her on spiritual matters. At the beginning of her own mystic life, it was from St. Merchtild that St. Gertrude the Great learned that the marvelous gifts lavished upon her were from God. Only in her 50th year did St. Merchtild learn that the two nuns in whom she had especially confided had noted down the favors granted her and moreover that St. Gertrude had nearly finished a book on the subject. She was much troubled at this. As usual, she had first recourse to prayer, and then she had a vision of Christ holding in his hand the book of her revelations and saying, All this has been committed to writing by my will and inspiration, and therefore you have no cause to be troubled about it. He also told her that as he had been so generous towards her, she must make him a like return and that the diffusion of the revelations would cause many to increase in his love. That's precisely what Mechtilde lived the rest of her life doing, leaving us an example to live our life rendering praise to God. We are called to become more reflective and that reflection and awareness of God's presence will certainly lead us to being grateful all the time for the so many blessings God sends our way each day. May we have the grace to do so through the intercession of Saint Mechtild. Thanks for staying with us. It's been Saints of the Day on Lumen Christi TV. Do join us again. <laughs>